Hi, my name is Dominic and in this video I'm gonna show you some cool things you can do with white noise. So let's get started. You know, every synthesizer has this white noise section or this tiny little knob which on its own sounds like this. Well, not very spectacular, not very appealing, but believe it or not, there are some very, very cool things you can do with it, okay? So let's get started, let's have a listen. Here is number one, rain. To create a sound of rain, you just have to apply a little high cut, a strong low cut, and a bit of a resonance, and that's all. And if you want to increase the intensity, you just have to play a little bit with the cutoff frequency. Hmm, seems a bit strong enough. Here's number two. What is rain without thunder? So let's create a thunder. For this sound, you have to take a look at the color section. So not every synthesizer has it, but there are some synthesizers who have this color knob and there you have to create a dark color which also can be modulated by an LFO to create some randomness within your sound and of course you also have to apply a very very strong high cut to create that dark grumble sound so that only the, the low end of your sound remains, okay? And by applying some distortion effects, you can make the sound even rougher and delay and reverb will make it wider. And when we talk about thunder, of course, we think about lightning. There has to be some lightning. And the interesting thing about um, lightning is that lightning does not have any sound. Nonetheless, we associate a typical sound with lightning and I think you know what I mean. It's this kind of <laughs> and um, you can create this too with white noise. So take your basic signal, your white noise signal, then you have to create an ADSR which has a percussive character. So just a bit of decay, no sustain. And you should also automate your color from very much high end to very much low end. And that's it, that's your lightning sound. Number four is the wind. Okay, so creating wind is easy too. The only thing you have to do is create a high cut with a very strong resonant resonance and what that resonance does it creates this kind of a whistling sound and by automating your cutoff frequency you create that kind of randomness so that the whistling sound seems to move around a little bit which is a very cool sound in my opinion number five so we had some, ah, well, let's call it bad weather sounds. Why not go to the beach and enjoy some pina colada or something? And let's create the sound of waves. What you need to do is apply a very strong low cut and a high shelf to get rid of the, of the high end as well, a bit of the high end and by applying a tremolo effect on the sound you can simulate the effect of the waves coming and going it goes up and down that's what a tremolo does it um, automates your volume curve and the last thing you can put on that sound is a delay and reverb again to create a bigger sound Next thing is the spray. So let's do some gravity, graffiti, graffiti stuff. Let's do some graffiti stuff, okay? 
For this, you have to apply a very, very strong high pass filter with a little bit of a resonance and then some automation. And of course, you have to make sure that the, that the length of the sound is equal to the image that you, um, that you create your sound for. Okay. The sweep. I think every electronic music production has this typical signature sound just right before your breakdown or your drop. A sweep, as the name might suggest, it goes from low to high. So you have to apply a low pass filter automation um, from low to high with a, a bit of a resonance. I mean, you can decide the, the strength of your resonance. The more resonance, the more you have that whistling kind of sound. And um, you could also additionally apply some high pass filter, but that's all up to taste. I mean, the foundation is the low pass automation. Let's go ahead. Now, wait a minute. Could you please go back again? Now, what was that sound? Ah, that's that zapping sound. You know, this is that typical sound you hear when somebody um, watches TV and moves from one program to, the, to another or when you turn off your electronic devices. And you can create the sound with white noise by applying a short decay, a cutoff with a high resonance, and you should modulate this, um, this cutoff so it goes from high to low that you get that jup, jup sound, okay? Number nine is my personal favorite, maybe. It's the ambience. There's something uh, special about ambience because it's a very, very important thing in recording for TV or animation or something because if there's no ambience, your recording sounds unnatural. So every, every recording for image, for, for moving images, needs to have some kind of ambience to create a natural feeling. And in case you have no ambience recorded, you can create your ambience with your synthesizer. And that's what we're doing right now. We filter all the frequencies, so only leave the mid bass in there, no resonance, and then choose some convolution reverb that matches the room that you want to simulate. So in my case, I decided to simulate the room of a tunnel. And if I bring in the sound of this ambience, okay, see, it sounds cool, but if I now put the same convolution reverb, which I put on the white noise signal, if I put the same convolution reverb on my voice, I think the illusion is perfect. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody here? Is there anybody who can show me the way out? Now, wait a minute. Do you hear that? There is a helicopter, isn't it? Or is it just another illu illusion? <laughs> of course it is. You can create that helicopter sound very easily by taking a white noise signal and applying a very fast sine wave LFO on your cutter frequency. And I think they are coming for me, right? So I have to say bye, see you in the next video and I hope it was helpful.